Good day everyone. I am Vincent and today we will I will be discussing the Asenware addressable fire alarm systems. To begin with, let's discuss what is a addressable fire alarm system. Addressable fire alarm system is made up of a series of fire detectors and devices that are connected back to a main control panel. Meaning in addressable fire alarm system, all devices are connected in a single cabling and recirculating back to the control panel. With addressable systems, each device has an address or location. Devices, location, and address are separately with each other, enabling the exact detector that was triggered to be quickly identified. This makes addressable alarm systems ideal for large buildings, particularly commercial premises spread over the wide area. Since the addressable fire alarm system show exactly which devices are going off, it makes it extremely easy to figure out whether there is a fire or it's only a false alarm. And for preventing a general alarm that might, that might cause panic to the um, tenants or other occupants of the building. What are the advantages of the addressable fire alarm system? First is, is quickly determine the location of a fire as I said earlier and second specific actions can be programmed by the user. It, um, addressable fire alarm system can be configured so that a specific action triggers a specific response. Reduce likelihood and better handling of false alarms. More reliability, less likely to lose connection. Lower overall cost wiring since um, all devices are connected in a single cable, cable. Ability to monitor integrity of the system with detector health checks. Um, with the uh, addressable fire alarm system, you can check the status of each device is connected to, in, to the um, link control panel by, by uh, its um, functions and features. You can see it on the, on the display. This is the addressable wiring diagram. As you can see, all devices um, are only connected to a single cable loop and it comes back or recircuit back to the main control panel. Unlike in conventional, wherein um, you can see, uh, wherein each device is connected directly, separately in the control panel, making uh, making it consume more cable compared to the addressable. As in where fire alarm system panels, we have two types of fire alarm control panel in the Asenware. First is the AWFP100 series fire alarm control panel. It is an intelligent panel which are designed to make it suitable for most of application. Um, it, it, also, it can also be used for a small building to large area and high-rise buildings. It also has a 7-inch touchscreen LCD color display, two 12 volts high-capacity batteries, Two wire cable for all addressable devices. It has a mini printer to print the status of events. It can also restore up to 2,000 events in the history. It has a graphic remote monitor access system, and it also meets all requirements of latest EN54-2 and EN54-4. It also can support a CAN bus network system. The second type is the AWFP300 panel. It is a addressable fire detection panel with one up to eight loop of 324 addressable points per loop. This, um, this is the AWFP100 features. It supports the TCP IP Modbus, wherein you can connect it to a computer and, look, and place the monitor in a control room or a server room wherein you can monitor it. 
Second is the GSM, wherein you can connect it to your cellular phones, wherein it will send the status of the control panel or the devices connected to the control panel. It also supports the cloud. It also supports the wireless devices. Also, the panel to panel network, wherein you can use up to 8 fire alarm control panel. It also has a LED repeater. It also a multi language and also has one up to eight loop and 250 detectors per loop. These are the devices supported by AWFP100. First is the annunciator with AWD116. It is a addressable annunciator which can be configured with the um, Asenware Fire Alarm Control Panel. It is also provided using an 80 character backlit alphanumeric display. Annunciator are more likely the extension of the control panel wherein you can acknowledge or silence the alarms using the annunciator. It also has a display wherein you can see the status of the devices and the location of the device that triggered the alarm. Manual call point AWD105A addressable MCP is mainly designed to be used with an intelligent two bus control system. It also supports electronic coding more suitable for engineering application. This device is a semi flash or surface mounted device. It is also a full electronic coding and it also meets all requirements of latest EN54 part 11 and it's only applicable for indoor use only manual call point awd105 awd105 addressable main control panel is can be used to manually trigger the fire alarm system by pressing the press here button in the fire emergency scenarios it also comes with a mounting enclosure which can be easily installed. It can be reset easily using the key. It also includes in the package. Alarm bell, AWD109. It is an addressable device used as an alarm sounding device and are appropriate for most building applications. Um, in an event of fire, Upon receiving an alarm notification, the fire alarm control panel must now um, send signal to the um, notification devices that there is a emergency happening. That is the primary function of the alarm bell. The strobe sounder AWD106 It is an addressable device that is a combination of a strobe and a sounder. This is um, its main function is to alert the occupants to, up, to evacuate the premises. And the stroke portion works as described um, by sending flash to alert the hearing impaired occupants to evacuate the, prim the premises. This is also a notification device. Combination of heat and smoke detector AWD103. It is a intelligent addressable detector which can be configured with Asenware AWFP100 series. It provides fire signal when both conditions are satisfied, which reduces the chances of false alarm. The sensing portion utilizes a proven thermistor for accurate, reliable heat detection. It has a smoke sensitivity of 0.18 to 0.3 decibels per meter and a fixed temperature alarm of 57 degrees Celsius and a rate of rise alarm of 7.1 degrees Celsius per 5 seconds. Heat detector AWD102 
It is a device designed to respond when the convected thermal energy of a far increases the, term the temperature of a heat sensitive element. AWD103 is a use a separate base to, si to simplify the installation and maintenance for proper installations. It also has a two wires connection and two LEDs. It blinks, nor blinks in normal condition and becomes steady during per alarm condition. Smoke detector AWD101. As in where AWD101 is an electronic fire protection device that automatically senses the presence of smoke as a key of indication of fire and sounds a warning to building occupants. It has a smoke sensitivity of 0 0.18 to 0 0.3 decibels per meter. Control module AWD112. It is a intelligent addressable control module which can be configured with as in where if AWFP100 series. It provides a notification circuit to control panel which allows to activate the notification of devices. Addressable monitor module must be installed as per the final drawings. It also has a addressable analog communications, two wire connections, two LEDs, and a it can, it, can, it can be also it can also used to control um, internal system like um, sprinkler sprinkler motor access more control doors and shut off main electricity supply during during an event of fire isolator module awd114 as in where awd114 is used to isolate short circuit problems within the within a section of loop so that other sex, sections can continue to operate normally. Isolator modules should be spaced between thirty two groups of a uh, between groups of a maximum of thirty two devices in one loop. It also a addressable uh, it also has a addressable analog communication and has a two wire connection. This also prevent the whole circuits on a fire alarm system um, can be disabled. The isolator module limits problems in a circuit from affecting affecting the entire circuit or the rest of the circuits. So you lose capability in one area, in one area but the other devices will still work. Um, the module ex itself reports a trouble condition so the system will show a trouble condition or status in the main control panel. Monitor module AWD110. It is a addressable device used in a addressable system. It's used to monitor a non-addressable devices such as a sprinkler flow switch, sprinkler tamper or supervisory, and a shot, shot on a shot of valve or a loaf of standard heat detectors. Relay module AWD113 is a fire alarm relay essentially to an electric switch one that makes that takes an amount of power and distributes it to allow other devices to power in certain circumstances supervisory module AWD111 AWD111 is used to continuously monitor the supervisory devices in a fire protection system such as valves, zone valve, or and etc.
Okay, to continue of the type, second type of the Ascent Verifier Alarm Control Panel. This is the AF AW FP300 Control Panel, and its features are the P2P network. Um, it can support it, it, it supported up to 20 fire alarm control panel. It also has a 324 detectors per loop and it can it has a 1 to 8 loop. It also has a built-in integral integral printer and has 32 zones. The purpose of the AWFP300 is to monitor input signals, give indications and passively activate outputs as program. It also has a 4.3 inches color screen LCD with a resolution of 480 by 272 in dimension. It also has a anti-tamper lock protection by a key lock and it also has a zone test, point test and module start to stop testing facility lock commissioning. It also has a zone indication and control panel for 32 zones and gives you a quick indication of the location of alarm or fault. These are the devices that are supported by the AWFP300. First is the smoke detector with a AWD301. It is a kind of photoelectric smoke detector with an internal microprocessor and it supports electronic coding and is accessed through AWFP300 fire alarm control panel by a two wire bus. It also has a standby current of 0.3 mA compared to AWD101 with a standby current of 2.5 mA, meaning it consumes less of electricity in on standby mode. It is also a LPC approved device and it has a temperature humidity and dust accumulation drift com compensation function and sensor fault detection function. It is also a non-polarity, a two-bus connection that ensures convenient installation and maintenance. This device is suitable for industrial and civil buildings that have a great deal of smoke during fires but no smoke under a normal circumstances such as restaurants, hotels, teaching buildings, office buildings, computer rooms, communication rooms, libraries, and archives. Since it will cause false alarm in the, on a normal condition if the area has a smoke. It is also not suitable for places with a great deal of retained dust and water mist where, where steam and or oil may be generated in places with retained smoke under normal circumstances. Heat Detector AWD302 This device uses a two-bus port mode with an internal microprocessor. It supports electronic coding. The detector realizes real-time acquisition of the inside temperature data and sends back the data to a fire alarm control panel. It also has a standby current of less than 0.3 mA compared to the addressable AWD102 of a 2.5 mA. This device is also a LPC approved and it can realize electronic coding and write the address via coder in situ. It also has a built-in remote indicator output terminal Drive remote indicator lit when fire alarm. This device is also more suitable for industrial and civil buildings that have a great deal of heat when fire takes place, such as kitchens, boiler rooms, generator rooms, drying workshops, smoking works, smoking rooms, and is not 
suitable for places with great deal of smoke but little heat. It can also re also remove a. Uh, this device also can also receive and execute the control commands given by a fire alarm control panel. Next is the addressable sounder beacon AWD306 and the conventional sounder beacon AWD316. Sounder beacon often used as emergency signaling device in an event fire. The beacon, the sounder beacon function, has been designed for a maximum all-round visibility coupled with a low power consumption utilizing an array of energy efficient LEDs while the sounder function also features a two-stage alarm override which is activated in the event of fire this the next Next um, device is the input output module AWD three one eight. The input the input output modules reliably control the other equipment such as door holders, fire dampers, smoke control systems, plant shutdown, etc. This can it can be it can also it can be used to connect conventional devices to addressable system. It is mainly used to realize an output control for fire linkage equipment and receive the feedback signals of the fire linkage equipment so that a judgment on whether or not the fire linkage equipment is operating normally can be done. That's all, thank you.